Continuing in the Hellboy lore today, I will be discussing and exploring Abe Sapien's origin. This is, of course, what we've seen in the movies, and it was also thought that The Shape of Water would be an Abe Sapien origin. However, the comics do explain the origin of the amphibious man, the, the Ichthyosapien, and today that is what I'll be exploring. Abe Sapien, through some flashback events and spirit travel, learned that he did in fact begin his life as Langdon Everett Call, a Victorian scientist and a businessman who became involved with the Oans Society, an occult organisation who believed in life and all knowledge having come from the sea. After discovering a fish-like alien, they proclaimed that it was a deity in an underwater ruin. Carl and the other members performed an arcane ritual that inadvertently ended with the creature's release and Carl being turned into an ichthyosapien. The Oan society believed now that Carl was the god reborn, and thus they sealed him in a tube of water in a hidden laboratory beneath a Washington DC hospital until such times as he was fully formed. Interestingly enough, the tube, or the tube filled with coal, stayed in the hospital for some time. The society had to abandon the site due to the outbreak of the American Civil War, and as such the tube stayed there, laying dormant, until Workman found it in November 1978. With no memory of his former life, the Ichthyosapien received a new name from a piece of paper attached to the tube, dated the day of Abraham Lincoln's assassination, April 14th, 1865. And thus, the Ichthyosapien was dubbed Abe. Abe was taken to the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense, the BPRD, for a gruelling round of research by curious BPRD scientists, and was saved from vivisection by an empathetic Hellboy. After that, Abe entered the ranks of the BPRD as a valued field agent, embarking on his first mission with Hellboy in 1979. Perhaps the most interesting part of Abe Sapien's origin is that he is part of his own origin. In the comic run The Plague of Frogs, Rasputin's prediction came true when Sapien was impaled by a spear and apparently was killed by one of the Ogdru Jihad's followers. Abe Sapien appeared to die, as said. Abe Sapien then had an out-of-body experience which sent him through time to his former life. Witnessing his past self's actions, Abe then entered Call's body prior to the transformation into the Ichthyosapien. This then in turn created a spiritual, mystical time loop before Abe returned to life in the present, making a faster recovery and beginning to do research into his past life. But perhaps the most interesting part of Abe is that his origin is still continuing. What we saw and what he is now or was is not exactly his final form. In the comic run Gods, Abe was in fact shot by a psychic girl, and as he was flown to the BPRD headquarters in a helicopter to be treated for his bullet wounds, he fell into a coma. As such, the BPRD scientists declared him brain dead with extensive brain damage. However, more interestingly from this is he actually recovered but began mutating further, growing taller, his limbs and his neck lengthened and he lost his nose, all while comatose. Abe would eventually awaken and discover that he was transformed and stumbled out into a empty monitor room to discover that the world was in an apocalypse-like state whilst he was in a coma. So there you guys have it, that is the origin of the great Abe Sapien, not what we saw in The Shape of Water, however it would have acted as a really good prequel if the rights were still around. Guys, are you looking forward to the Hellboy reboot? Let me know down below in the comments section. Guys, if you're eagerly awaiting the next Mr. Hate reviews, that is coming up tomorrow. I hope you do enjoy it. It was a long time coming. It was copyright blocked, so I couldn't release it, but I can now. And if you enjoy the Mr. Hate reviews, please do consider becoming a patron as that really helps me out mainly because they always get demonetized and that gives me the opportunity to work on those projects a little bit more than I do now. Anyway, and as always guys, I've been Mr. H and I will catch you in the next video.